Skinner expects more anglers will head to Lake Mille Lacs for the fishing opener this year. For the first time since 2015, people will be allowed to keep some of the walleye they catch during the first three weeks of open water fishing. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily found out what this means for businesses in the area. In the months before the frozen lake gives way to open fishing waters, anglers and businesses learn how the state's walleye restrictions will impact them. This new regulation is going to help people out a lot better. Guide Mike Verdeja is glad anglers will be able to keep a fish a day before the season moves to catch and release. But he says that will put a big push on the opener and the days that follow, a time that is already busy. I'd love to see him open up that keeping only for the fall. We have been able to see what kind of summer we were going to have, and it would have really driven a lot of business in a time when we don't have much. The DNR says it doesn't want to take two steps forward and then one step back. That's why they're moving forward in what they call incremental steps, allowing anglers to keep one walleye a day in a slot from the opener until the end of May. I think with any process, we have to be patient and have, you know, we all want that chocolate bar right now, but sometimes it's better off if we wait a little bit and then again ensure a good fishery for generations. Tim Patuchny is a newer owner of McQuaid's Inn on Mille Lacs. When he came in, it was catch and release and says there were bait restrictions for walleye fishing. We try to offer a lot of different things to do. Oh, we got a real little guy there. Some businesses really felt the pinch. He quickly learned to diversify and not be solely reliant on the state fish. We have the best smallmouth lake in the country, so we do lots of that fishing. And then we are also situated on 300 miles of groomed trails for ATVN and snowmobiling. He hopes what the DNR is doing now will pay off down the road. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News.